one base layout from 10 years ago and four most popular internet base designs to ever exist from 2014. The question is, do they still work? Not only we are going to test all 5 bases and find out which one of them still works but also I will personally transform the worst performing base into something hopefully better and test it in the final CWL war. Which happens to be the deciding war who is getting promoted and who is not. First of all I had to find the absolute oldest base design out of the depths of the internet. From all the videos I stumbled upon Simon Tay's video that has been uploaded less than a month from the initial release of the game. Actually you don't even need to watch the dates to understand that the video is old as our guy Simon is recording his screen with another device. While I was having a moment of nostalgia watching this old gameplay I soon realized I have a pretty big problem. I don't have a Town Hall 4 account. So I had to quickly create one. Thanks to the deep strategical knowledge I had accumulated during the years of playing COC I ran through the tutorial like it was nothing and even the NPC was complimenting my great skills. Then I gave the account a name. Bought some gems using code JSO of course. And for some reason that didn't work so I donated 15 cents to Galidon towards the fund of finding the long lost Peter $17. But seriously if you guys want to support me then the only way is by clicking that like button which according to Albert Einstein's calculations takes one and a half seconds only. Now it was time for some epic gemming spree to get that town hall for as quickly as possible because time is money and money is time. After getting rid of another temptation I was ready to copy the base design from 2012. Because I was in a highly dangerous trophy range I couldn't log out without getting defending clan castle troops so I invited my newly made account with one of my alts and this happened. <coughs> Literally unplayable. Not only the code JSO didn't work but now I couldn't even donate troops to my own account. It just wasn't my day. So I took some troops from a random request and leave clan instead. Removed the shield. And logged out of the account to receive some 300 IQ attacks. In order to get rough estimate how well the base works I created a chart where I am going to give each design a rating based on the number of successful defenses while taking into consideration other metrics like trophy range and so on. In order to do all of that I needed to get plenty of data to work with so I tried my best to get at least 10 defenses with each base. After waiting 25 hours I received good variety of attacks. I am not gonna lie the result was a lot better than I anticipated. While Simon's base design managed to get only one loss out of 10 attacks with rushed town hall 4 we have to also consider that it was done between 0 to 200 cups that might drop the rating just a little bit. On the other hand it's safe to say a defense is a success when the attacker gets less than 50% of the loot available which means all of the defenses were technically won. According to that I was fairly confident to give it a 9 out of 10. Now we move on to the year 2014 when Game Dice HD uploaded his Town Hall 8 base design that literally took over the Clash of Clans. 7.5 million views explains why this base was everywhere to be seen. Every time you would head over to the clouds to search for a base to attack you would see someone using this layout. Most of the bases in this video are so old that I had to use the lovely stop the video and copy the base one by one technique that brought back many memories. Also I had to figure out where to place all the new buildings that have been released like Air Sweeper and Bomb Tower without changing too much how the base operates. Once the base was ready it was time to get some defenses. I did not expect it would get 3 starred right off the bat but maybe it was just Klaus attacking this base because rest of the following attacks were all 0 stars and none of those 9 attackers were able to steal over 50% of the loot available. Since I am not using this account much then it is always floating around the trophy range between 700 to 900 where most of the dead town hall 8 bases are, which definitely brings the rating down slightly but one thing that I completely forgot was to switch my clan castle on guard. While other bases I tested had defending clan castle troops then game dice's base design did all the work without it. That's the reason I am going to give that base a rating 9.5 out of 10. Next up we have Damien Elledge with his famous ball base design hitting that 5.7 million video views which makes it also one of the most popular base designs in Clash of Clans. Both Game Dice HD and Damien were the two inspirations who got me started with designing and uploading my own bases to YouTube back in 2015. 
Once again since copylink was not a thing back in 2014 and neither was air sweeper bomb tower and fourth mortar then I had to improvise. Because this design didn't fully optimize the wall usage due to the curves then it was difficult to get everything important behind the walls so I threw that mortar in the corner. Unlike with previous space I did get that guard up so it should be more difficult for enemies to attack, but the result was rather opposite. Out of 10 attacks 5 were losses according to the below 50% loot stolen rule. But since Damien designed it to be a trophy base then we have to look at stars rather than percentage of loot stolen. According to that we got 2 losses, one of them being 86% 2 star and then 69% 1 star which is not too bad as long as it didn't get tripled. In order to give it a more precise rating we do have to consider the fact that I did use defending CC compared to the previous town hall late base. Also the whole thing took place in low silver which might not be best to measure how good of a trophy base it is. So I think it is fair to give this base rating 8 out of 10. Now we are switching to Town Hall 9 base design which is going to be one of the most famous if not the most famous base layout called the Taylor, or as some like to say, 4 square base. I couldn't find who was the original creator of this design but if you look at YouTube then there are tens if not hundreds of videos about it, which definitely made me suspicious if this design is even going to win a defense at all. Also due to its popularity it was no problem to even find a copy link but there was one but. This but is that I don't have a proper Town Hall 9 account. All I have is this. It is a base I use to make level 1 free loot troll base videos with, and apparently this is my only option to test Taylor layout. To compensate the misbalance of building levels I went to test it in the Silver League where many people go to find exactly bases like mine. After couple of days I had plenty of defense replays to analyze. Since this layout is used as an hybrid base and also as a war base then I had to take into consideration both loot stolen and the stars. Out of 16 attacks 5 attacks were just one of those trophy dropping attacks using one hero which I can't really count as an attack. According to 11 attacks that were left 5 of them were losses but all of them were 1 star attacks which I would personally count as a half a point deduction from the rating. Taking into consideration also loot stolen then I would give this base 7 out of 10. Lastly we have the famous Chief Pat's Town Hall 10 base. Once again couldn't find the copy link so I had to try to replicate it straight from Patrick's video. Also I had to find use for the extra 25 walls as well as some other new buildings that weren't present back then. I didn't want to change the base design itself too much so I placed majority of those walls outside the base. When the base was ready I logged out, waited one day, and noticed a shocking result, which was the fact that not a single attack had taken place. I tried to make things more appealing by filling all my storages to the maximum. I logged out again, came back and still nothing. Then I boosted my collectors in hope that perhaps it's going to help, and well, it kinda did. Within almost 4 days of waiting I received 10 defenses to analyze. If I understand correctly then Chief Pat's base is a hybrid and according to that there were 6 losses out of 10 in higher silver league, which is definitely low for a town hall 10. That made me give this base a rating 5 out of 10 which is the lowest score out of all the bases. As promised at the beginning of the video I will now attempt to transform worst performing base into something better that I will use in my last CWL war. So here is transition from Town Hall 10 version of Chief Pat Space into Town Hall 14 version. The fight between us and currently number 1 clan was very intense as who is getting promoted and who is not. War day started and I didn't have to wait till long until one geologist came to inspect this beauty of a base with his yetis and witches. Soon enough the tin foil hat boys Bill and Bob were desperately knocking with their hammers on that town hall door as logs were rolling towards them on the floor, but no one let those poor boys indoors so they had to go through the good old trap door. Then the defending lava hound took in control by spitting on those peasants walking on the floor. After couple of fireballs from the wizard mitosis happened which turned one lava into 18 little lavas and at this point geologists knew it's game over. In the end the result was not great not terrible, what was little terrible was that we didn't get promoted but at least we won every single war. Here is one secret playlist I made personally for you with the best clash of clans videos I have ever made. Have a lovely day.